Affinity Photo has open Color I.O. integration. I'll show you how to set it up and take advantage of it. Open Color I.O. is a color management system and you will predominantly find support for it with video editing and compositing software. So here is a use case. This is a 32-bit Open EXR render which was rendered in Blender. Now Blender has Open Color I.O. support and it has a number of different view transforms including a filmic transform which gives you a very flat log-like appearance. So our goal here is going to be to set up that same Blender Open Color I.O. configuration within Affinity Photo. So we want to go to the Preferences menu. Now on Mac, Preferences is under the Title menu, and on Windows, it's under the Edit menu. So we can go to Preferences, then go to the Color category, and we have this option here, Open Color I.O. Configuration File. So we want to choose Select, and then Browse to our downloaded Open Color I.O. configuration. So for this example, I've actually extracted the files from the Blender application folder. I'll choose my .ocio configuration file and then click Open. Now, Windows users don't have to do this, but on Mac we have application sandboxing. So here we need to also give permission to use that folder. So here we'll choose Select, and the correct folder is selected for us, so we'll just click OK. Then when we go to close the dialog, we're prompted to restart the app. So we'll choose Restart Now, and then we'll wait for Affinity Photo to relaunch. OK, so now that the app has relaunched, we'll just close the Preferences, and now we'll reopen that Open EXR document here. So once the document loads, we'll notice a visual difference. And this is because we're now viewing in unmanaged linear light, which we need to change. So to do this, we can go to View, Studio, and enable the 32-bit preview panel. OK, I'll just drag the panel out so we can see it a bit better. So by default, when we don't have Open Color I.O. configured, this option here is set to ICC Display Transform, and that will just do color management from the document profile to the monitor profile. However, with a valid Open Color I.O. configuration, this option is selected by default, but it actually looks the same as unmanaged linear light, and that's because we haven't set a device transform yet. So from here, we can select our device transform. I'll choose sRGB, and then on the left here, we have our view transforms. So because I want to emulate that filmic view transform, I can choose filmic here, and then the representation of this OpenEXR document will look exactly the same as it does in Blender with an sRGB device transform and a filmic view transform. So there we go, just a quick guide to setting up Open Color I.O. and how to use its view transforms and device transforms in Affinity Photo.